Hello, and welcome to Jeebus Adventures. I'm back here on the Tekkit server on my survival island. You can see over there. Well, I'm on it. I'm next to it. Um, I've been doing some building. This uh, tower right here was the nerd pole I mentioned in the last episode, which um, signifies the entrance to the mob spawner. I believe it's about there. Something like that, roughly. Anyway, so I decided to make my, uh, another island right here. This is going to be where I move the uh, mob spawner to. I'm just going to dim my chat just slightly more. Because it's not because I don't want people to see what's, what's on there on the video. The only reason I dim it is so I don't get distracted. Someone there has just said hi to me uh, twice. So I'm, uh, let's just quickly go boom. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't want to get distracted. I get distracted very easily. When I see something shiny, it's like, ooh, what's that? I very rarely finish sentence, I've noticed. So I need to, any reason I dim it so I don't get distracted like I'm doing right now. I'm very distracted. That was a waste of, what, 30 seconds? Anyway, moving swiftly on, um, yeah, this is a little island outside of the build. I've got a boat over here from the last time I came over here when I first built the tower, and I'm going to hop back into it now to get home. Um, so yeah, at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys what I should do next, and I've had a few a few suggestions. Um, the first one, well, one of the ones I, want, I wanted to do was build a little islands around the place, which, as you know, I've wanted to do for a little while. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Okay, we're good. Phew, close. Um... I've decided I'm going to build that one right out there and build a sort of bridge to it, somewhere, maybe a train system, I'm not sure. Which is where I'm going to move the mob spawner to. I'm going to move it from up there, from down there, to up here. Um, but I'll go into more into detail on that nearer the time. And also, on the other side of the island, I've started another one. See, that one is out of cobblestone. This one is looking cool, I must say. It's uh, out of dirt at the moment. Um, and I've got a nice little bridge to it, too. Pretty funky bit of bridge. And you can see I've made a bit of a weird shape of this. Um, that was deliberate, of course. Um, the reason I've got it so sort of funky looking is you see on the map on the map it looks pretty weird, doesn't it? Um, this island was completely square. It was basically in a giant cube. Uh, I didn't want to do that again. Um, so I've got a bit crazy with the shape. I'm not sure if I'll stick this shape exactly, but the beauty of a shapeless shape is that you can edit it however you like, whenever you want. So it's not set like that. But yeah. What I want to do this episode is bring some animals to this island. So I want to make that island right there the uh, the farm island. It's not going to be farm for crops and things because um, I don't really need crops yet. I've um, I live off off. Um, oh God! Ah, your ass! Where are you going? Arr, come on, you boom! Yeah, you need bones. Oh, nothing, just XP. Ooh, actually, imagine I need to enchant some soon. I'm thirty-one levels. I'll die soon, I'm sure. Um, but yeah. Um, I want to have that as a little farm island for animals. Um, I'm not going to do crops because I don't actually need crops. I live off apples from my tree farm. Um, and yeah, that's about it really. Um, so what I want to do, as you can see, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere, as you know. Um, I want to bring some animals over here using uh, Pokeballs. Because they're not called Pokeballs, they're called um, Safari Nets. So if you remember ages ago, oh there's one, yep. Um, I went to get gas tears from the nether. And I've got another one since then, so I've got three total. Yeah, here's a second too. There we go. Three gas tiers. If you mix a gas tier with, I think, four ender eyes or ender pearls, you get um, a safari net. And a safari net is basically a pokeball. You can capture animals in it and take them wherever you want to deploy them somewhere else later. Um, I, of course, haven't actually got any uh, ender pearls, or at least I've only got like, maybe one or two knocking about. Oh yeah, actually that reminds me of something I, I forgot to mention in the last episode. Um, I All the uh, saplings, as you know, go into this chest, which then get cut off to the mass fabricator down there, the recycler. Um, my original plan was this over here, was to turn them into compressed plants and make uh, bio cells out of them, uh, or biofuel cells after you put them in something else. Um, I couldn't work out how to use them. I wanted to use them as power for my generators, which are up there, to power the, um, or to f power everything else. But I couldn't work out how to use them. So if someone can tell me what I did wrong, I'd appreciate it. Um, I know it's a bio cell, then you put the bio cell in, I think, the extractor or, or something else. I've got one upstairs anyway. Um, and it, it just wasn't working. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I've been full of cobblestone. I'm just gonna jungle this in here. This chest I'm using right now is the one that was, was attached to the quarry. It's just so full of crap, I haven't bothered moving it yet. Uh, so yeah, let's leave it there. Um, and yes, these diamond chests are legitimate. I'm going to show you how I got the diamonds for them now. I know I've got I've got diamonds already. I've got plenty of diamonds, but um, I used it this this method right here, the minium stone, which is actually nearly broken. So hopefully I've got enough shards left to make another one if I need it. But um, as you know, I've got basically infinite wood. Giggity. 
Um, if you mix a minium stone with two pieces of wood, it turns to obsidian. Um, yeah, it's got the last one out there too. And if you mix four pieces of obsidian, it turns into iron. Uh, oh, let's get all of them out, yeah. And then if you mix four pieces of iron, you get an ender pearl. So I'm just going to use oh, two, maybe? Uh, three ender pearls. I could do some more. I'm just going to basically do this method to get myself a whole pile of iron. Or ender eyes in this case. How can I do that? Yes, that's how it was. Um, there we go. That's four of them. And also, if you keep going with that method, instead of using four iron, if you use uh, eight iron, I think it is. Uh, there it is. That turns into gold, and then four gold makes a diamond. Really, really handy. Um, oh, let's get rid of those. I'm actually collecting gold at the moment, because I want to use the gold around the apples to make golden apples for my next journey to the nether, because they're uh, lifesavers they are. Something else you can also do with this minium stone, which I'm going to do right now, actually, whilst I remember. Um, I'm pretty sure if you put cobblestone in it, I think I could be wrong about this, we have to test this. Cobblestone in it, it turns, yeah, it turns to grass. So I'm going to use that. Oh, my minium stone's broken. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for now then. Um, no, I need some more. I'm sure I've got shards. I've got five shards in there. I dumped them in there once when I was uh, I was in a rush to get away from my island. Uh, let's have a look up here. I'm sure I've got some more knocking about. I'm sure I have. Um, yeah, I'm saving saving the gold up to make golden apples. The good ones. If you make them out of blocks instead of um, instead of nuggets, then you get them that are really really effective. That guy right there, I think. Yeah, he's a he's a really good one. Um, those regenerate for about three minutes, I think, something like that, and they give you fire protection, so you can fall in lava and swim around. They're really good for any nether journey, so I'm gonna stock up on them if I can. Where the hell are my minium shards? This is annoying. I'm sure I've got some more. I haven't only got five, have I? Oh no, here's some more. I looked right at them. I got distracted by the apple. Right above it, I was. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, if I now craft some, I need some smooth stone. Hmm. What's in this furnace? Nothing. Fantastic. I think it's four smooth stone and some iron and some gold. Let's do that then. There we go. So that's four stone. And I think I think it's these in the corners. And then iron in these. And then uh, gold in the middle. Yes, that makes the inert stone. And surround the inert stone with shards of minium that looks like hearts, which you get from mob mob drops. You get the minium stone, and that is what you use to make more um, things. So let's just do that and that, and chuck all of these into here, turn them all into obsidian, and then do the same with these, turn it into iron. Bam bam bam, and then I'll make them into and eyes. Uh, six, oh wow, quite a lot there. That, that'll do. That will do nicely. So now where my gas tiers are, I back them in the middle and surround them with one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I've got three safari nets. Uh, there we go. And now I'm going to show you how to use them. So if I go to my sanctuary, boom, here we are at the sanctuary. Uh, you can use these to capture any any items, oh, sorry, any any entities, which I'm going to use on animals. I've only got three, so I'm going to have to make a couple journeys. You can only have one animal in it at a time. I'm going to take you. Yes. So now you can see it's a safari net, brackets, cow. I'm going to take two cows if I can get near them. Um, oh, I can jump, can I? Derp. Two cows, please. Yes. So I've got a cow and another cow. And I've got one more. I'm going to take a sheep or a pig. Sheep or a pig. Sheep. Coming with me, pig. So now if I just go back, yeah, I can plonk them down. But I forgot to build where they're gonna go, so I need to get some get some wood to make a fence. Wood, 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 wood. Stick, 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 stick. Good God, lots of sticks. Okay, that's a crap lot of fences and probably too many. So never mind. At least we're not gonna run out. Let's do this. I got my grass. Yes, I got my grass. My nine pieces of grass. Need grass for sheep. Sheep don't can't eat without grass. Okay, so I am thinking 
we're going to put the uh, cows over here because the cows are the ones I'm going to have the most of. Um, because I'm going to want the leather. Need to make some books at some point, I think. Yes, to enchant things with, because you can't enchant a lot of the techity items um, straight away. You need to enchant a book first, and apply the book enchantment um, with an anvil. So I think about that much should do it. And I've just realised that I haven't put the grass down yet, so I should do that first. And uh, where's my grass? Grass, 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 grass. I've got nine pieces. Let's make them last. One. And yes, you can see it is only one block thick. I haven't filled it all in. I don't have that much dirt. Grass over there. Grass over there. And they torches too, don't I? I've forgotten that also. So, surprised there are no mobs over here actually. I've been here for a little while now. I haven't seen any, any spawn around here. They've only spawned on the uh, the roof of my house mostly. So, that's strange. But that should do it. Do I have any torches I made at all? No, not a single one. Never mind. Let's get this dirt up. You never know when you need dirt. And we should use these cows, uh, cow nets. Yes, so I've got this guy and this guy. We should name them. What should we call the cows? Let me know in the comments. The names of cows. Cow A and cow oh, B. Yeah, lots of cows. Well, two cows. But I can use, oh, yeah, I need to use wheat to reproduce them. And I don't have any wheat. I've got that little bit over uh, there. But that's all. So that would be a reason to have a farm. Yeah. Well, that's eating my words already. Okay, I think we all have the. Um, uh, do I need to do that? There? Do I really? But never mind. I'll have the uh, the sheep in this section here. Not many sheep because I don't need much wool. At least not yet. I'm sure I will at some point when I've thought of a reason for it. But as of right now, not so much. Oh, there's no grass in there either. Oh well, failed here. Okay, so we got one sheep. Who's a brown sheep? Was he brown when I got him? I don't think he was. Can I take him up again? Get in there. Wow! Okay, you can change the colour of sheep. Oh, and another sheep. It was grey, damn it. It was good. Dark grey. Let's keep going. I want some really colourful sheep. Oh, a black one. Very colourful. No. You don't. White, 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 white. Oh, well, let's leave them black. I went through a lot of colours then. Maybe one day I'll, I'll uh, keep doing that and find a pink one. Who knows? So let's just grab my other sheep and two pigs. Ooh, where am I? Oh, my cow place. Another sheep. Yoink. And I've got them over here. So let's get two pigs. Boing. What is that? Oh, it's a pig. Uh, okay, pig and pig. Fantastic. I'm not grabbing chickens because I've already got some uh, some chickeny things. Chickeny things? <laughs> some chickens over there. Um, oh, great one. That was good. Um, so I'm just going to use their eggs to make some more. I got a little bit of eggs. They're really loud, so I'm going to have to move them because I really I hate them. I hate them so much. All right, this is what's going to be. It's going to be pigs, isn't it? I don't know why the pigs have got such a big space. That's so special about pigs. They're a bit boring, but that's uh that's how it is. I'm just going to whack some little space over here. One more little slot for the chickens. Okay, so we have the crappiest farm in the world. Um, this is a bit strange, but we can we can uh, spruce it up a bit near the time or further time. Um, the grass is not spreading yet. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ha ha. If I get some torches around it, it should grow nice and juicy. Juicy, really juicy grass. Wow, well, as I said it really. And as you can see here are my chickens so far. There's a lot of them in here, so they're producing eggs like mothers. Uh, I've got eight, eight right there, and I've got loads indoors too. I'm sure. So I'm gonna go spam these eggs. Eggs, I've got three more eggs in there, two more eggs in there, six eggs in here, two and a half stacks of eggs in here, and that's it. So, let's go plant these eggs. Plant the eggs? What am I talking about? We're gonna throw them out the wall. Okay, here we go. Time to pelt some eggs into this little bucket thing. Eggs, we've got one chicken, two chickens, three chickens, four chickens, five chickens, six chickens. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, my eggs. Wow, okay. So how many do we get? We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chickens. Eight chickens. Total, little, little baby chickens. But they'll grow. That's good. That's fine. That's cool. And let's check these torches. That's not a torch. What am I doing? Oh, well. Uh, I'll chop it down. Haven't got an axe. Never mind. Goodbye, post. Torch there. 
Okay, the place is pretty well lit up now, more or less. Chuck a couple more down. Um, and that sums up that. This can be the little little farming island for animals. Um, I obviously will have to get some wheat on the go. I hadn't even realised. Maybe I'll put that in the middle here for now, so I can just chop it, plunk it down. The problem I've had, I think I mentioned this quite early on, is I don't want to build things that require chunks to be loaded for them to progress, like growing um, crops, for example. Because when I'm on my home island, this will probably be too far away to actually um, be loaded, and so there'll be nothing growing there. So if I put some melons down there, they won't grow for like a week. So that's um, something to look into. Um, as I told you, over there is where I'm going to be building the mob island, so I can get a mob grinder and easily access to it. I've already got access to that one, which is what I'm using to get minium shards and bone meal. But I'd like to, you know, to bring it a bit nearer and sort of automate it slightly. I can't even see it; it hasn't loaded. But I promise you, it is that way. Oh, there it is. There we go. See, I'm building on there. That's going to be sort of mob island. And I'd also, I, th I think, I was thinking about this last night. I'm in the shower. Yeah, I get all my good ideas in the shower. <laughs> um, I want to move this tower. Um, I just want to take it out and plonk it on its own little tower to make it to make it an actual lighthouse. So uh, I'll be honest, I may end up using World Edit to duplicate it and then just delete in this one because um, that's a lot of posts right there to spend cutting down individually. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, what I would like to do, if I did end up moving this, was make this into more of a train station. So, it's got the sort of train station-y staircase, which I like, but then it just goes off into a weird little tower. Um, oh yeah, there's a big hole here from when I was testing out the um, solar panel thing. I wanted it to be able to see the sunlight wherever it was going, but that failed. Um, so yeah, that pretty much sums up this episode. I uh, let you know about the things that I'm working on next. Um, in the future, after moving that guy and building the island over here, we'll be working on making uh, red power frames and red power motors. Was, I can't make that a jump. I need to make a bridge everywhere I go. Um, because the red power frames and motors are what you use to... Where's the boat gone? Never mind. Are what you use to move mob, mob, mob spawner, basically. Because the frame can go down, grab it, and bring it back up again. So that is what I will try and work on next. Um, look out for that. If you fancy seeing that, be sure to subscribe. And of course, if you have enjoyed this episode, please drop a like and a comment. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.